Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Libra. For your June 2024, you'd apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's coming towards you guys in love, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, uh, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Hold on one sec. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated fully to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, leave one. The person that we, uh, uh, wrong with you, what's next in love for Libra? What's next in love for Libra? For June 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. And guys, you can apply this to new love, current love, and ex, okay? So uh, let's see. What's next in love for Libra? What's next in love for Libra? We have the Four of Wands here. We have the Two of Wands, okay? I mean, you could be dealing with the Twin Flame here, okay? I mean, there could be someone here that's dealing with options here. Yeah, some of you is unsure whether they want this relationship here with you or not. Whoever you're dealing with here, I do feel like this person has been breadcrumbing you, and I feel like this person will still breadcrumb you here, okay? It seems like they're telling you that they want to be with you, but they're not, they're not really sure. They're only telling you what you want to hear, but they're not actually executing or doing anything to actually make it happen, okay? So we have the Four of Cups here and the Eight of Cups, okay? You're dealing with someone here that's not really quite sure what they're looking for. I feel like this person's bored. I feel like this person's not happy. You know, I feel like this is an individual that's pretending they, they want to be with you, pretending uh, that, uh, you know, they care about you and they love you here. But I just feel like this person's, like, in this energy of, like, I just feel, feel like this person just try and pleases people by telling people what they want to hear, but this person doesn't do it, you know? So the Four of Wands here, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Wands here, okay? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, I do, I do feel like there's someone here that does, does not, has no idea what they're looking for, No has no idea what they want. And I feel like this person only tells people what they want to hear, okay? Uh, two of Swords here. We, we have the King of Wands, uh, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Ten of Wands, and the Two of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Six of Wands, and the Eight of Cups here, and the Five of Wands here. Wow. I, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like they're sick and tired of what this person keeps pulling on you. Okay, I do feel like, you know, Libra, I do feel like you want to resolve things with this person, but I feel like every time you have a discussion with this person and trying to resolve things, you know, I feel like things always break out into a fight and then this person walks away. This person just walks away. You know, when someone shows you that, you know, that they're indecisive here, you know, this is an indication that, you know, they already made a decision here. You know, indecision is already a decision. Basically, they don't really want you, okay? They don't want you. I mean, that might be hard to hear, but, it, you know, if someone here, if someone, if someone that you're dealing with really, truly wanted you, they won't put you in the position like that, okay? You know, it's not nice uh, to, uh, to string somebody along, you know? So what else do we have here for Libra? What else does Libra need to know, look out for, work on for June 2024 when it comes to love? When it comes to love.
We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Four of Pentacles and the Lovers here, Gemini energy. With the Temperance card in the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Don't let someone use you like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I just feel like, you know, sometimes when we like somebody or that we're in love with somebody, like, we could be, you know, very, 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 very naive, you know? And I feel like it's important for someone to really face the facts of how you are being treated here, okay? You know, you know, if I were to look at the situation, this person is treating you like shit. You know, and I feel like it's really important for y you, if you're in that position, Libra, is to recognize that and accept it and to let this person go. So, you know, you got to ask yourself, like, why do you, if you're in this position, keep putting yourself in the position where you're setting yourself to get hurt? You know, so, you know, you got to ask yourself, you know, is there something that you need to work on in order for you to not settle for less than what you deserve here? Okay, so I, I, I do feel like someone here is completely, completely using you here, telling you what you want making false promises here and not even giving to the connection here okay so we have the knight of pentacles here and the star aquarius energy the queen of cups and the queen of swords yeah and you have to have your guard up when it comes to this individual a lot of times you know i always say that you know i do believe in second chances even third chance is kind of pushing it by but if the person hasn't made a, a conscious effort in making any sort of changes to improve the relationship more than likely that this person is not going to change yeah and and like i said if you're giving this person like fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth chances and y you have been hurt over and over and over again you're sort of like you know you already know what this person's about and each time you do that, you're putting yourself in the position to get hurt. And the more chances that you give to this person, okay, this person knows that they could get away with it because they know that you will forgive them and that you will take them back, you know? So I feel like it's important for you to really take back your power, to reclaim your power here. Because your power is being handed away to somebody else. Seems like what really gets you gets you is that this person could be really sweet and very convincing here. So, you know, yeah, so Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. Yeah, this, this connection is not really going anywhere, to be quite honest. This person's not going to give you what you want, okay? So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.